you've written the book Profit First for Lawyers. So tell us, you know, what is Profit First, that that whole mentality, and how did you get hooked up with Mike Michalowicz and, and that story about the book? Yeah, so I should give some context around this. Um, so how to manage a small law firm, which is my business. Uh, we manage over 600 law firms all over the country, uh, ranging from, I think our largest firm that we help to manage is something like $30 million in revenue, all the way down to, I'm just getting started. Uh, we, we take them all the way through the seven stages of growth that, that law firms can. They don't all necessarily have to, but the seven stages that they go through. Um, zero to t around $250,000 in gross revenue is typically the first stage. 250000 to around $500,000 is typically the second stage. Five hundred to about a million five is typically the third stage. Not a million. A million five is kind of the, the tipping point nowadays. Um, then it goes to a million five to around three million. You start making some major changes. Three million to around five million. You make some major changes. And then five to ten. And then, you know, anyway. So, um, Long story short is I was doing profit first without knowing that I was doing profit first. And uh, throughout our community, because we have live quarterly meetings and we have a very active, robust community of, of like-minded entrepreneurial law firm owners, um, I started hearing about this book called Profit First. And so I read it. And I called the Profit First headquarters and I got in touch with Ron Saharian, who is Mike's business partner. And can I curse on your show? Absolutely. I called and the first words out of my mouth to Ron was like, Mike wrote my fucking book. I mean, all props to Mike. He wrote the book and I didn't, right? Um, but he described brilliantly and very clearly what I had learned through the School of Hard Knocks to do to protect my family, to protect my sanity. And when you implement profit first, it actually helps you make much better business decisions because you're, you're, you're like, you're thinking more clearly. It helps you think more rationally. It helps you be more objective. Uh, you're making proactive, preemptive decisions instead of reactive decisions out of fear. It helps you do better long range planning, which ultimately always leads to better decisions than when you're making reactive short term decisions. So I, I called and I said, Mike wrote my book. Um, Ron and I ended up just having a really great conversation. We just ended up talking about a wide range of different things, found that we were very sort of philosophically aligned on a lot of things. Um, and that relationship developed, Ron, um, came to one of our live quarterly meetings. I put him in a room with, at that time, I think we only had 400 members. Uh, so we came, you know, came to, came to one of our meetings, saw what we did, uh, in terms of helping lawyers turn law practices into real profit breathing machines. Um, and, um, when the time came that they wanted to start writing industry specific books, um, they asked me to write profit first for lawyers, which it then took me two years to write the book because I couldn't figure out how to, I didn't want to just write some cheap piece of crap, uh, search and replace where everything, where it says business, you just change it to lawyer. I didn't want to write. I, I, I hate those kind of books. Um, and so it took me two years to kind of like wrap my head around, how do I write this book? And what I finally landed on was writing profit first for lawyers, which is meant to be a rallying cry. It's meant to be why and how, why you as a law firm owner owe it to your family. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your clients. You owe it to your staff to take profit first seriously. So it's sort of like a book about why you should do profit first. And if I do say so myself, it also has some pretty amazing content. It, it's, we've, we sold over 24,000 copies of this book at this point. We're about wow. to go into a second production. 
and the publishers asked us to do an audiobook. Um, and by second production, like an expanded version based on feedback people have given us, you know, they want more. Um, and, and, and look, I got nothing to sell here, right? I, I, I got nothing. I've got a waiting, how to manage a small law firm has a waiting list. We've had a waiting list for the better part of two years. I got nothing to sell your audience. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you. Uh, I, I just have things to share for free. 